Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have a, an Olympiad match challenge on the board. Let's look at the question. 2 to the power of A minus 2 to the power of B equals to 2016. We have to find A and B. So how do we go about this? Very easy. First, we have our solution, and then we break down, we write down the question, which is 2 to the power of A minus 2 to the power of B equals to 2016. We are going to call this equation 1. Now, from the question, from the way it looks, we can assume that for this to be true then we have that 2 raised to power a minus 2 raised to power b equal to 2016 must be equal to 0 must, uh, must be greater than 0 rather so for this to be true the 2 to the power of a minus 2 to the power of b equals to 2016 must be greater than 0 what that means is that so this means that 2 to the power of a minus 2 to the power of b will be greater than 0. Okay? And if this is true, it, it also implies that 2 to the power of a must be greater than 2 to the power of b. Now, here comes the question. So what we're now going to do is that to solve this question, and since we already have equation 1, we definitely are going to have equation two, equation two. And then what do we do? We have to introduce a constant. The constant can be any number, but it has to be different from A and B. So let's introduce a constant M. So I'm going to say, if that is the case, then we can say that this will imply that A will be equal to B plus M. So we call this equation 2. So if A equals to B plus M, you know we said that M is a constant where, okay let me put that here, where M is a constant. Now, so what that means is that our equation 1 will become, we are going to rewrite equation 1. This equation 1 is going to be written as, we are going to write equation 1 as 2 raised to power b plus m minus 2 raised to power b equals to 2016. Okay, so what we now do is that we know that from indices, we know that a to the power of m plus n is the same thing as a to the power of n times a to the power of n. And so, we are going to rewrite this as 2 to the power of b is dot 2 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of b equals to 2016. And uh, from here, let us factorize the left hand side since 2 to the power of b is a common factor. Okay, so we have 2 to the power of b, open bracket, 2 to the power of m minus 1 equal to 2016. Now, what we need to do, this is indices, okay? So what we need to do is to express, you know, because on the left hand side we have a product, 2 to the power of b, open bracket, 2 minus 2 to the power of m minus 1 is a product. That means we have to express this 2016 also as a product. So how do we do that? We 
which are simply um, we look at since um, we can start division by 2 ok let me come over here and say 2016 divided by 4 let me use 4 this is 5 and then we have uh, 0 here and then we have 4 ok so that's it so that means 4 in 1 will be 0 ok 4 in 20 is 5 4 in 1 is 0 then in 16 that will be 4 so um, then we we'll go further to divide 504 by let's say 4 again and then we have 4 here is going to give us 12 and it's going to give us 12 then we have 48 in 24 that's 6 that's 126 then 126 divided by let's say 2 we have 6, 3. So, 4 times 4 times 2. That will give us 32. So, we can write 2016 as 32 times, okay, let me use a dot now. Dot, 22 dot 63. Now, uh, there's something I want us to, to talk about. Let's look at this left hand side. You see, the base is 2. This is base 2, base 2. Now, uh, any, number, any number that has a base of 2 is an even number, irrespective of what, whatever the power is. For example, 2 to the power of b is an even number. And therefore, 2 to the power of m is also an even number. So, by implication, what that means is that this is even, and then the whole of this, if 2 to the power of m is even, then when you subtract 1 to it, it becomes odd. The same thing happens here. 32 is even, and same way, 63 is odd. So what we're going to do now is to compare both sides. So we compare... Compare even and odd numbers on both sides. So if that is the case, what we need to do is to say what we have is uh, 2 to the power of b will be equal to 2 to the power of 5. And then 2 to the power of m minus 1 will be equal to 63. Now let's take this. Oh sorry. Uh, this one will be 32 rather. 32. Okay, so 2 to the power of B will be equal to 2 to the power of 5. And when that happens, that means B will be equal to 5. B will be equal to 5. So from there we can say that B equal to 5. Now let's look at this. 2 to the power of M will be minus 1 plus 1 equals to 63 plus 1. Is that okay? So from that end we we'll have it that 2 to the power of M. So minus 1 plus 1 is 0 is 0 and then 63 plus 1 will give us 64. So 2 to the power of m equals to 2 to the power of 6. 64 is 2 to the power of 6. You can see that from what we did here. Uh, this, is, this is 16, 32. Multiply by 100, so that will give us 64. So from there, we can say that m equals to 6. But you should know that from equation 2, from... In our equation 2, from equation 2, we said A is equal to B plus M. So if B is 5 and M is 6, so that means A will be equal to 11. Therefore, for that equation, 
a is equal to 11 and b equal to 5. This is our solution. We can check this off. Yes, we can check it off by saying, so let's check it. 2 to the power of a minus 2 to the power of b equals to 2016. a is equal to 11, so that will be 2 to the power of 11 minus 2 to the power of um, 5 equal to 2016. So 2 to the power of 11, I think that 2 to the power of 10 is 1024. 1024 multiply by 2, that will give us, um, 1024 will give us 8, 4, 20. So that will give us 2048 minus 32. That's it. And then what do we have? So by the time you do the subtraction, you see that this is 2016 equal to 2016, and this is correct. So the answer to the question is A equals to 11, B equal to 5. So, guys, we come to the end of the challenge. Please like my video. Comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.